Yes, the real media. KJAG Radio and KMA Entertainment, your source for entertainment news and interviews in Central and South Central Kansas. The best of the best are here, and we go above and beyond to bring you the most bang for your buck. Find us on the social sites like Facebook and Twitter. Log on to kjagradio.com and jiggyjaguar.com for more. Thank you. Good night. What's up, it's your boy Israel, and I'm live on the tour bus with the Midwest Mogul. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Tech Nine. Tech Nine. You know what I'm saying? And today I'm asking a couple questions. As the superior independent artist you ever heard of, you know, me being an independent artist too, I want to know all the questions that other independent artists want to ask. Like, some artists, they want to fish in, uh, they want to fish. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I want to fish in Paul. So I'm going to ask this man some questions that's going to help you step your game up. All right. Tech, as an independent artist, what is one of the most important things that you would say like uh, distinguishes an independent artist from a local artist? Uh, you can be a local independent artist though, you know what I'm saying? I was a Kansas City local uh independent local artist. Legend. Yeah, well well it's like <laughs> it's like being successful, I right. think what you mean, like yeah, a successful yeah. independent artist and not just local trying to do it, I think right. you mean it. Uh have something I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you the basics. Listen up. Without no post there's no life. You know this. That stop, no more life. It starts with a beat. If the beat is pounding and it wakes everybody up, that means there's life. If you got a beat, and a perfect example was boom, 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 boom. You already know and what it is when he hit the radio. You know, he ain't got to say nothing until he came on. Go, go, go. You, know, you already liked it by then. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It was, uh, then it was what he said. Right, right. You feel me? So it's like without no pulse, there's no life. That beat means everything. Then is what you say on top of. Then is you getting it out to people. And it shouldn't be a problem with the youngsters getting music out these days because you got YouTube where you can just put play some music up there and everybody's liking it and you know what I'm saying or hating it or whatever. You got you got Twitter or you can put up a link. You know what I mean? Technology got it to where it's way easier for you to be seen and be heard or get a record deal if that's what you want to do. But independent is what I do because my record deals did not work. You know what I'm saying? And they wanted me to be somebody else and I could only be something else. Straight. Not somebody else. Something else. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, come on, come on through. This is real time with Tech 9 man. Could Chris you, uh, Calico in the house. This is my boy Chris. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Calico in the house too, y'all. A lot of people don't know. Uh, this is one of my partners, partners, man. He didn't gave me a lot of schooling on what to do and just how to step my game up and talk to people about professionality and what that means uh, as an independent artist. You gotta be, you gotta be professional. What's up? I'm listening. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this dude crazy. Yeah. You gotta be professional because yeah. nobody wanna deal with an asshole, man. Everybody wants to deal with somebody that it's not hard to deal with you. You know, I, I hear so many stories about rappers. <laughs> and I hear, hear so many stories about rockers and jazzers and bluesers and everything. Right. Jazzers. People, yeah, jazzers and bluesers and shit like that. Um, that people like, oh, I do not want to deal with them. They want it so much, you know, like, didn't come on time. You gotta be on time, man. If the meet and greet start at three, you gotta be there at three. You know what I'm right. saying? Ain't that right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, it's been my you know what I'm saying? If the show starts at, and we go on at 9.30, be backstage by 9.15. You know what right. I'm saying? To get your, to get your ears on. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to, uh, I want y'all to really listen to what he just said. This is a man who done sold more records than anybody, man. You know what I'm talking about? And if he's telling you you gotta be professional, you gotta do it. It seems like most of the independent artists that I met that ain't did shit was the biggest asshole. And I'm like, how you gonna be an asshole when you're yeah. asshole? You know what I mean? Man, what's wrong with these people? Think the world gotta get their asses. 500 capacity, but you want to get 600 passes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, 
<laughs> in closing, what advice would you give to these independent artists who want to aspire to be on a tech nine? Give me a day job. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, not very encouraging. Uh, 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 I'm going to tell you like this. If you believe in your product or your project, yeah. other people have to agree. You know what I mean? It can't just be you saying, I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? Other people have to agree. The people in your basement, what you have to say? Whoa, that's something. They didn't move from the basement to upstairs, your mama and them, your mama and them say, whoa, that's something. Boy, you should do something with that. Then it goes outside on your block, and your block agrees, and all the blocks agree, and everybody agrees. If you believe in that, and everybody else is believing with you, push that. Take whatever you're doing, whatever job you got, you want to. If you really believe in it, you will put your money into it to push it, to print the CDs and everything, to get it out to people. And once that spreads, man, it could, it'll start coming back to you if it's good and everybody believes in it. Yeah, because uh, I was telling Jiggy on the show last week that uh, my first show was at my mom's Tupperware party, uh -huh. and I moved up from that. I went double copper last year. I'm trying to move up. I'm going to tell you one thing that people won't tell you, man. Uh, it's a hard fact. And you see it because a lot of stuff on the radio ain't, you know, even though I dance to all kind of music. Right. You know what I'm, saying? I'm a dancer before I was a rapper, so I love music. You know right. what I mean? So just because people ain't elite MC like I call myself don't mean that I can't listen to their music. But the reason why that is, man, because and people ain't gonna hear it because it's hard to come by. Cash is king, man. Yeah. Cash is king is the is the real thing, you know what right. I mean? Right. But if you do have a project you believe in, you put that cash in it, man, you can get it somewhere, dog. And it and it's sad because if it was about how good you are, we'd be trillionaires. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when people see through, like Eminem, like Kendrick Lamar, and Jay Z, and Lil Wayne, you know, all these wonderful rappers, you know, are multi millionaires, you know, that's a beautiful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But cash is truly king. You have to pay to play. It's a sad thing, man, but it's a harsh reality. Well, so get your money game up. I tried to explain to some people tech that, you know, in my crib, I got a studio and yeah. I got an office because it's a music business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I try to spend as much time on the computer as I do behind the board. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. And that's a part of it. And, uh, you know, why you want my favorite MCs is because for me, it's the honesty. Yeah. Some artists, they get on there and they don't expose themselves. When you can expose yourself and share your pain, your ups, your downs, that's what really drives that audience. That's uh, real. That's real. That's, that's why I have a, fans. That's why I have fans because I tap into emotions. Well, that's what I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? You dropped a KOD. Yes, I did. I was uh, actually got locked up. I was in Topeka, Kansas, yeah. with a lot of cats from Kansas City. You know, everybody out take this, take that around the J Core time, and I'm reading yeah. it about you know how MJG and them and was there, and yeah. and I was just reading, and I kept. I said, okay, well, what is it? What is he doing? And I knew that black people had like this issue with you. Like, I thought I was a double person. Yeah, you know what I mean, like my yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I heard your hood hype interview, it changed my whole perceptive of what I thought about you and. Hearing and hearing you talk about your mother, hearing you talk about your stepfather and yeah. the whole religious aspect. Yeah. Man, what that brought was, KOD, you know, yeah, sadness. That right there is like, okay, I'm a fan of this guy. I want to hear what he's talking about. It's yeah. about that connection. It, it is about the like connection. They know something about you, whether they do or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what makes a person come back and then. That's, that's what longevity means. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, thing, the thing that I give, my soul, my, me being transparent, me being on uh, an open book, yeah. that's why I have fans because we connect on those levels. Right. And when you, know you know listen I mean? to your music, you can hear the pain behind things. You hear the honesty even yeah. when other people wouldn't be and they want to be, you know, this big ass star. And I really dig yeah. that. Yeah. I want y'all to know Strange Music, man, to get it in. These are the most humble, most inviting guys. This guy just said, stood there and shook everybody's hand. You would have thought that he knew each one of them personally. Probably do. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is Tech Fucking Nine. Yes, you know, sir. my boy Chris over here, yes, sir, Calico. Y'all go cop his new shit, because if you don't, I'll punch your mother in the mouth. Exactly. Twice. Exactly, man. I appreciate it, man. That's real shit you're speaking, man. Yeah. Thank you, brother.